Hey guys, Daniel from Phone Arena here, reviewing the multimedia editing apps on the Samsung Galaxy S2. These apps, Photo Editor and Video Maker, we had on the Samsung Galaxy S, they were released um, in the beginning of this year. Here, the Photo Editor has the same name, but slightly altered interface. Still, the functionality stays the same. Uh, you can do selection, you can choose the size of the circle you do selections with and then you can add to this selection additional parts of the image if you want inverse the selection or deselect everything again once you've selected something though you can apply various effects to it like for example you can do warping let's squish this red flower here like that takes a fair bit of time okay or you can let's say do fill the selected area it automatically fills what you've chosen like that or alternatively you can apply some uh, effects like ghosting on the selection there are a number of other laughing mirror effects you can use in photo editor and you see it's like speeding up dropping down flower we apply the ghosting effect if you don't like what you're seeing you can easily go back with the redo undo buttons here on the right hand side an app like that you most likely be using for things like cropping for example Let's crop the red flower here. And then you can work with uh, this section you've just chosen. You can pump up the saturation of the colors. You can set up higher contrast like that and apply. Or if the picture is set too dark, you can turn up the brightness or lower it for example if it's too bright overall uh, a good photo editing app uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S2 and uh, it's perfect for some on the fly altering your photos before you upload them to your computer or send them somewhere now let's move on to Video Maker the video editing app is uh, absolutely the same like what we had released for the Samsung Galaxy S in the beginning of this year. It's just called Video Maker now instead of Video Editor. You have different themes you can apply to your projects from the get-go, complete with your own frames, uh, background music uh, and so on as you can see. Or you can just choose none and use a blank canvas. The app automatically lists all the clips that you can edit here. And these are all videos 720p HD or below. You can't edit uh, full HD 1080p videos with this app, so it's absolutely the same as what we had on the Samsung Galaxy S released in January, we think. You can add the clips before or after the one you chose first. And you can mix and match uh, with pictures. You can place them in the beginning, in between the clips themselves, in the end and so on and so forth in this time strip here and the phone highlights the section that uh, you're working with right now with this little red line here you can add background music as well just uh, be careful if you've chosen a theme it has its own background music so they don't uh, mix with each other and you can set the background music level separately from the video sound level so it doesn't get in the way of what you've recorded together with the video or you can go straight into the camera take a snap or record a video and then go back here and attach it to your project let's say we're done here we want to see what we've done we start with a picture some background music and we transition to the video and now we see we don't have any 
transitional animations between the picture and the video and we want to add some for example we can do that we want to add here between the first and second section we want to add uh, a dissolve transition and you can set up one to three seconds duration let's put three then between the second and the third we might want fading transition and you can set up transitions for um, each section like that okay we're done with transitions let's say we think this uh, video clip night video clip is not sharp enough you can actually apply various effects to it you can sharpen it right here in video maker it's uh, visibly more detailed now or you can play around with some other effects like emboss or turn into negative let's leave it like that and if you want to split the project at some point you can do that let's split the first video in half you just press on the scissors and we have two separate videos now we can add a transition here if we want between the two and if we think we don't need some content from the video we can trim from the back here or from the beginning a little bit with these uh, sliders and these faded areas won't show up in the final project let's say um, we are done here and we want to see what uh, we've achieved we start with the picture a nice transition we added we sharpened the video here we have the background music still playing but not getting in the way of the sound in the video itself now we have the cut that we did in the beginning of the second video section and the app directly skips to where we cut to with a transition and if we're satisfied with what we're seeing so far we can easily export the movie up to 720p mp4 format it gets saved in the video maker folder in your memory overall pretty versatile video editing app on samsung galaxy s2 this was a video review of the media editing apps photo editor and video maker on the samsung galaxy s2 these are integrated now in TouchWiz 4.0, the newest uh, Android overlay from Samsung. If you want more details, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.